The crowd is loud in Saskatoon, 10,000 fans and more. The home side, even with the guest, they need a single score. For this is not a normal game, but one for days of lore. And wary of this forward they, whose skill is hardly met, who pass and weave and check and shoot and drive hard to the net, who play a style, a foreign game, no pressing flesh just yet. What force have they who rarely rest before resuming chase? For one of hockey's sacred goals, there is no time for pace. To capture such a prize as this would stand cruel times erased. The vanquished lie in both their trails, some forty teams defeat, and these most ancient rivals win as if ordained to meet, and months, nay years of butting heads meant neither would retreat. The teams ignore the drying blood that spilled upon the ice, and both will swallow sweat and spit as part of winning's prize, and both will ask indifferent gods to score once more than thrice. Each man now speeds to hard attack to count the final goal, and all return with post to haste for some a newfound role, while shots are blocked by sniping men whom red lines often troll. Now this one's found a march for sure, immortally alone, but yet again the door is shut by leather walls of stone, and then opponents wheel to claim the nation's junior throne. Ah, here is fearsome give and take, where quarter is not asked, and here is touching life itself, the cup of highest task, an odyssey of epic trails, whose end is nigh at last. Soon sixty minutes shows the clock, it ticks with seldom pause, the effort spent by those engaged does warrant warm applause, a tie is no end, so go regroup and seek the hidden flaws. This is not bullets overhead, or creeping yellow gas, nor moaning minis in a trench to waste a high school class, and more remains of these young lads than faces pressed in glass. But they, of gasping, hacking breath, of eyes sunk pale and drawn, with color drained from rosy cheeks, of visage tense and worn, have nerves that shake their fingertips, and strength that's simply gone. And none of them can dare think back to chances gone astray, nor glance ahead to frightful thoughts of losing on this day, the timid worry in their stalls that pox may come their way. There's fear accruising most of us, that puts life on a scale. To take a shot at laurel crown might mean that we could fail, but dwelling much on losing face just makes us limp and stale. But then you look around the room at once your team and mates, and stares that hurry back in kind all wonder what awaits, for answers none can half reveal till changing is too late. From somewhere deep inside yourself, While sharing your friend's eyes, you summon up your last reserves and to the moment rise, and what you bring or leave behind is there without disguise. The falling puck starts sudden death, for one still noble sight, then skaters dance and goalies prowl and bodies heart collide, no one departs the frozen stage without their best try tried. Still, sport like life is seldom fair and both teams cannot win. The luck that's balanced to and fro is spun and fickle whim, and mortal folk are ill prepared to challenge chance's spin. From blue line post a leader moves with winning in his mind, his lips past checkers flailing arms, both benches clear the pine, to stand and watch in helpless awe while chills run down their spine. The rink stands still, he edges close, alone in all the crowd, all cheering stops, all breath is held, the silent ruled aloud, and free at last he strives to make his team and brothers proud. What's etched in time can happen fast, the scene will never gray, a guy too small to make the league has made its biggest play, a pass tipped by a lifelong pal, his team has won the day. The guests erupt to storm the ice to share this greatest thrill, to clutch in hard euphoric hugs in dreams they hold and still, a triumph hardly there to wish made real by their stern will. The morning rides at 6 a.m. in cars with clunky wheels, the breath that hung as mist in air and clouded sea through shields, the snot they wiped on gloves and sleeves and toes that froze and peeled.
All this and more were part of things. It wasn't always fun, but even these brought a wistful smile with what they just had won. Ah, this was both relief and joy, this rare day in the sun. There on the ice and in the stands are fans along with friends. Family, flames and hangers on at this near perfect end. The guys who share this brief, bright time whose like won't come again. The teams line up to crown the champs, the 80s final year. The home team shocked a washing pain now know their deepest fears. But strange it is to look and see the victors distant tears.